We are asking world community and United Nations to look Pakistan exploiting over natural resources, the sanctuary of the terrorist group, which were used this land as launching pad for the other part of Kashmir. And many of the Kashmiris under Indian administration were killed by these sanctuaries, terrorist groups. Basically, Pakistan is perpetrating human rights and now they are kidnapping our underage children. People, they are protesting. This is a matter of their life, their survival. They are, they are demanding for the right of life. United Kashmir People's National Party has organized this protest in the front of United Nations on the 54th session of the UN Human Rights Council to highlight the issues we are facing in Pakistani occupied Kashmir and Gilt Gilt Pakistan. People are on the streets protesting against the hefty surcharges in the electricity bills, inflation, unemployment, terrorism and in Pakistani occupied Kashmir from district Bagh, more than 22 teenagers were forcibly taken by the extremist forces, banned groups for the purpose of training, for armed training and then ultimately they will use them in so-called jihad. And people, they are protesting, this is matter of their life, their survival, they are, they are demanding for the right of life because they don't have any kind of facilities since 1947 and now prices are very high, they are facing shortage of electricity, extremism, unemployment and they are on the street and strongly protesting against the Pakistani occupation and demanding for their freedom from Pakistan. protest is continuous in 1948 and asking Pakistan to vacate this territory because it is not for Pakistan. The state of Jammu Kashmir, as I said, a historical nation which was divided forcibly by Pakistan and its Malaysia. And United Nations resolution asked Pakistan to withdraw its all troops and all those peoples who enter in Kashmir for the fighting of for the purpose of fighting. Now whole Azad Kashmir, which is it's unfortunately it's the name for the understanding, the Pakistani occupied Kashmir, there is a huge infrastructure installed by the Pakistani intelligence agencies and everywhere they are freely moving around and harassing the peoples. So we are asking world community and United Nations to look Pakistan exploiting over natural resources allotted over forest lands, whereas the, <coughs> the weathers are badly affected, environment is badly affected due to the Pakistani policies. So we are asking them to respect the dignity of the Kashmiri peoples, respect our freedom of expressions, and all those political workers who are in detentions or who are prescribed by the Pakistani agencies just for 
that they cannot communicate with the peoples like in Galgit Baltistan. So our whole issue is that we are facing slavery and exploitation of natural resources since 1947. And we have no single hospitals where we can seek better treatment. So this is a completely a colony of Pakistan and the century of the terrorist groups which were used this land as launching pad for the other part of Kashmir. And many of the Kashmiris under Indian administration were killed by these centuries, terrorist groups, because their ideal is communist, extremist, and they don't want that secular, progressive, democratic people can serve the people's rights. Basically, Pakistan is perpetrating human rights and now they are kidnapping our underage children from various schools and they are giving them training at Special Services Group headquarter in Chirat, which is in Khabar Pakhtunkhwa. So in recent weeks you have seen that people crossing line of control and they are fighting uh, and killing innocent people, hostaging innocent people in Anantnag, in Sopur, in Uri, in other adjacent areas close to line of control. So we are here to highlight these abuses, these violations in front of the United Nations and our colleagues have also spoken under item agenda 3 and 4 and we will also uh, herald the international community to ask Pakistan to stop these activities and stop using our youth for their interest and for creating destabilization in the region.